we'll look at the first uh, dynamic controller uh, the PI controller we'll look at it through an example now we're given this plant g of s 1 divided by s plus 1 times s plus 2 plus times s plus 3 and we're supposed to design a PI controller here we have some transient requirements uh, I'm going to have rise time equal to 0.9 seconds and we have steady state error requirements I want the steady state error equal to 0 uh, the controller is obviously of this form the transfer function for the controller d of s is kp plus ki divided by s so you can also write it by cross multiplying here s so you can also write it as kp times s plus ki divided by s that is the root locus of our uh, plant the plant is the same as the loop transfer function here no, note that you always draw the root locus of the uh, loop transfer function now for the given transient requirement uh, rise time equal to 0.9 seconds we get omega n equal to 2 now that is the curve omega n equal to 2 now where this curve intersects the uh, root locus we get the desired location of the closed loop pole that's right there s naught is 0 0.8 plus 1.8 i so this is 1.8 i this is 0 0.8 now again i'm eyeballing this this is not really accurate but uh, just eyeballing this here now for that value of s naught we can calculate the gain k which is here is kp is given by 1 divided by the magnitude of the uh, loop transfer function which is in, in this case is the transfer function of the plant evaluated at s naught and I use MATLAB to compute that you can do it using a calculator and I found k as 11.14 now we'll find steady state error the steady state error is given by e equal to r divided by 1 plus kp times g um, a steady state error is ESS is given by limit as s tends to 0 s times e of s which is limit of s tends to 0 s times r divided by 1 plus kp times g s is the step function and then I substitute for uh, g and kp and this is what my steady state error is going to look like as s tends to 0 this s cancels with this s this these s's go to 0 therefore steady state error is 1 divided by 1 plus 11.14 divided by 6 which is around 0.35 now remember that my steady state error requirement required me to have a steady state error of 0 so this doesn't satisfy so we'll go and do a PI controller now what I've done here is I put the PI controller together and just plotted the root locus as I indicated previously the PI controller doesn't greatly change the root locus the original root locus but what you can see here this region I've blown this up is essentially it looks like so the pole is at 0 and the 0 is at a location uh, given by minus 0.1 so ki divided by kp is around 0.1 so um, and we'll look at steady state error now um, same expression for error but here we have in addition to kp and g we have the PI dynamic uh, the I dynamics um, steady state error ESS is limit as s tends to 0 of E of s which is this R is step so this is the expression for steady state error now if you notice here this s cancels with this s all these s's go to 0 so this term becomes 1 by s divided by 6 this term becomes 0.001 but if you notice here when this s tends to 0 this ends up being 0 this is 1 by 0 and that becomes infinity infinity times 11.4 is infinity infinity plus 1 is infinity so that is 1 divided by 1 plus infinity so which is 0 so we achieved our uh, design goal